All right, so I had a lot of people ask about how this Wii Sleeper PC works. So I figured I'd do a video doing a teardown and showing the messy internals of it. And from here, you can see why I haven't really posted a tutorial on it. Uh, it is a big mess of wires to get everything uh, in order here, but once you kind of learn about it, it's not that complicated. Uh, we'll start off with the basics. We have just an Intel NUC here. We have 8 gigs of DDR4 uh, DIMM memory, so it's the laptop memory. And we have just a cheap 512 gigabyte uh, NVMe. If we wanted, there's a SATA connector there. And there's a power connector for the SATA, so we could power SATA. But uh, we haven't really done that since it doesn't really fit. If we look further, we can see here, this is the front panel I.O. So what that does is uh, they have wires going all everywhere, but it basically just powers the LED, the power and reset, and uh, that's basically all it does. We have some other internal headers here. So we have USB headers. These two are USB 2.0, and uh, they're just with a little JST connector. And those I routed to the memory card slots. So they are sitting right down there. Uh, if you saw in the memory card slot too, I have a USB 3. So what I did there was I wired up a bundle of wires and it basically goes to this internal USB header. And this one, if we unplug it, is a yellow one, which means that it is a charging. So whenever this Wii is on, it will charge that external USB 3 header. Uh, we also have an audio pass through. So that's what this other wire is is this is our audio front panel uh, header, and it goes to just an extension there. We have another audio jack there that I never really talked about, and that is an external uh, power um, button and reset. So basically, these uh, buttons are routed to that headphone jack too, so it can kind of be docked in a sense. Uh, other than that, if we move stuff out of the way, the other primary thing is down way at the bottom here, it's kind of hidden, but that is a Mayflash um, GameCube to USB adapter. So what that does is that converts the GameCube to USB, and that is where we get the GameCube ports here. So with that, we had to, or I had to, cut out the uh, adapters and 3D print an adapter to space it properly. And up top there, we have a uh, feature that wasn't really implemented but it was uh, LEDs to shine through the GameCube ports. Uh, that's kind of a simple mod you can do to GameCube ports on anything, but uh, I never really got to finish that feature, so it was just kind of complicated wiring. But basically, from there we have that uh, GameCube controller adapter. It gets wired up to this USB hub with the little LEDs, and what also is wired is this uh, USB to SD card. So that's how we get the front IO uh, SD card. And that's basically plugged in to this. Um, it's also plugged into this. So it is an internal uh, USB connector. Uh, and then from there, we have, uh, we have the two antennas. Since the nut case has the antennas, I had to buy external ones. So I just bought small little ones. And they get uh, attached right underneath the SSD. Um, and then from there, it was basically just the I.O. plate. And you can see, you can't really see the fan because the CPU is on the underside. Uh, so it's kind of spaced off the board so it'll uh, take in air underneath. There's a decent amount of space in there so I'm not really worried about airflow, especially considering it's an I3. People have asked about air as well. Uh, it's not that big of a deal since it's an i3. Uh, as I showed, it has plenty of room underneath with uh, nothing really there. And there's plenty of intake with stuff like this fan grill. Um, people don't actually know. I didn't know until I built it. There's a fan grill at the front so it can take in air. And it pretty much has enough air for all of it. Yeah, and then when you want to finish up the Wii, what happens is there's this little cover piece that came comes with the original Wii and it basically just fits in place and just makes it a much more professional build. Yeah, so if you like this teardown, uh, subscribe for more and let me know if you want anything else in the comments.